So... Alright. This is a key cabinet in the back room. Key cabinet there, the bottom floor. Key cabinet in the second floor walkway. And then there's the heavy safe there. This, I remember. Basically, we need to have this dump truck here, or some other vehicle capable of moving these things quickly, parked right here so we can drop the safe into there. We're basically doing an Italian job thing. Then roll it over here after we get the uh, key cabinets. So... Let's get cracking. We'll be doing this several times is basically a matter of tradition. Just blowing up the gate. Because why not, really? Uh, is there anything here? I'm pretty sure I got everything. Actually, wait. You know, I didn't check the power station over here. Let me run over there real quick. Nice of them to leave it completely unlocked for us. Very convenient. Aha! Agent B4 comic collection worth 75 bucks. Hell yeah! A wallet. Nice. Again, I like to think there was nothing actually in the wallet. It's just the wallet itself was a very expensive brand. Anything else? I don't think so. Just the generator there. Yeah, it's Gucci. Alright. Now... Will this hook? That's the question. Yeah! Oh, hey, hey, I saw that. There's something up there. Ow! Oh, Jesus. Hey, a distance laser. Nice. <laughs> Crunch. <laughs> hey, Barrage. Good to see you. Actually, before we bring the tower down, we should probably search it. I didn't check there, either. Hmm. It's a safe way to open that. I know. Most of them are doing horrors for money in Armor Core. I mean, you know, as long as you're getting paid, that's the important thing. You don't want to do war crimes for free. That would devalue them. Oh boy. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> are we the bad guys, Walter? Game. <laughs> I mean, you know, don't let deep philosophical ponderings get in the way of having fun with a big stompy robot. At the very least, you know, do that after you're done with a robot. You know, when you're after the mission, you know, you get into drinks with your with your friends and you're like, Man, that was really fucked up, the stuff we just did. But, you know, it's still fun, don't get me wrong, but, you know. I'm, I'm still gonna do it, obviously. But, you know, I'll... I'll I'll give it a good long think next time. That's what I'll do. Alright. I think that's everything worth looting. Actually, hang on a second. Okay, uh, I was going to hookshot my way over there, but, uh, I forgot, yeah, that this hookshot, the hookshot does not take the weight of objects into mind, only how firmly rooted they are to the ground. So, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. I think that actually didn't do damage to me. For a second, I thought that killed me. You might say I've gotten very attached to this gun. <laughs> now then. Uh... What about you? Can I pull you down? See, now I'm curious what other things I can interact with that will let me destroy them. Can I pull that down? 
Yes! <laughs> uh, this gun rules. Everything gets better with the, the grappling hook. Alright. Let's focus here. So we do have to... Actually, wait. No, I didn't uh, loot this building back here. Yep. Yeah, I thought so. Here we go. Hidden cash worth 300 bucks. Fuck yeah. Oh, they're going to miss syndicated Star Trek. Uh-oh, what's going on? I haven't been paying attention. Oh, oh, that's, oh, the antenna. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're right, because, yeah, this is 1997. They'd absolutely have uh, next-gen on. <laughs> I was going to say, like, oh, God, they're taking Star Trek off the air? Ah, uh, the 90s. Okay, so we do need to clear some space here and here. And this, I think, we will cave and use the C4 rule. Just a little bit, just a little bit of controlled explosions here. Well, Prodigy didn't do enough numbers, so it's just gone. Oh, Jesus Christ, really? Man. <sighs> Nothing fun lasts anymore. Okay, uh, so... Actually, if we damage this too much, we won't be able to safely get the vehicle in. So... Totally removed from Paramount Plus. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's what really irks me about the streaming era. It's just... It's a bit too easy for something to get yoinked off and just be permanently inaccessible... Just because it's not doing... it's cause, Just because it's not doing gangbusters right now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Put on your pirate cap. I mean, you know, talk like a pirate day is only two weeks away. The K. Stoll's channel does not endorse the cool crime of piracy. But, you know. I can't stop you if I don't know about it. I mean, I can't really stop you even then. All right, that should do it. Let's get you out of the way. What I really wish you unlocked earlier was the leaf blower, which helps you get a lot of debris out of the way. Basically, got a new obsession this morning with finding an English version of a PC ninety PC ninety eight game that's culturally relevant. Ooh, what do you got? What's up? Is there anything else in here? I don't think so. Hey, a disc cutter, nice. So every now and then you find stuff you overlooked on your first uh, run through. Easily accessible remake, but doesn't have the old pixel graphics. Ooh. Sounds interesting. What are you looking for? Reminds me of SE at the time being like, well, DXMB and Tomb Raider did do enough. Well, enough. No more for you. Games did better than repaying budget. That's the thing, yeah. Very often they do make their money back. It's just they don't necessarily make enough to keep the rest of the company in the black. It's the other things they do that are kind of screwing them over. And I always kind of wonder how much of that is they actually know these decisions are stupid and they just don't care, or are they just getting bad advice, or are they just genuinely that incompetent, which is always a possibility. Like, Square Enix's whole interest in NFTs for some ungodly reason, which I promise you nobody in a command decision at Square Enix actually understands what NFTs are, and granted, nobody else involved in them really does either, except as a vector for scams, but somebody there just heard, hey, cool buzzword, let's do something with it. What? I don't know, anything. You know, multiple timelines adventure gaming with you freely hopping between them. Ooh, that does sound interesting. I'll have to look into that. I've never heard that one before. Right, they want every dollar they have. Capitalism, crunch dells, devs in the ground, sell the corpse. Yeah, it, it, they, too many... 
Too many suits treat game development as just another slash and burn operation. Extract the resources from it and move on. And obviously that is toxic in the long term, but it's not even profitable in the short term. You don't get it. Oh, wait. Hidden cash worth 300. Oh, where'd I get that from? Okay, somehow destroying stuff willy-nilly produced cash I somehow missed. Which makes me think it was probably behind a bookshelf here or something. Or possibly in a safe. Yeah, I think it might have been on the wall or at the very corner in there. Basically, I need to destroy more stuff is what I'm getting at. Wall cash. 1996. If I can dig it up, I'll turn it into part of a stream. Yeah, that'd be fun. I'll tune in. <laughs> it's like wall meat, but more useful. Yeah. Alright, let's see if we can wedge this here truck in a usable direction in there. Yeah, That's what I'm talking about with the debris here. Just because you have the strength in the vehicle to get through it doesn't mean that the rubble won't be in, in, in obstruction somehow. So once you do finally get the leaf blower, it's a huge help. And that's something you want to jack up to full strength as quickly as possible. Is there anything else in here? Hey! Alright! Power, power wrench worth $80. Nice. This is turning into a very lucrative, uh... Very lucrative secondary business here. In fact, this is kind of a tertiary business, because, you know, crime is kind of our secondary thing here. Okay, so... I want to break that down. I want to break that down. Yeah, I think... I forget exactly when you get that. I know it's before... I think it's before the last mission here at Lee Chemicals. But I'm not 100% sure. It, it does kind of depend on how many side missions you do, but there's a finite number of those, obviously. So, yeah, we are going to... Let's cut you open. Yeah, we will knock a hole in here. Oh, almost certainly. Alright, so we'll grab that. <laughs> what we need is a quick way up. I think this'll do. Just barely. And the problem is the slope kind of becomes too much of an incline here. Damn. Alright, what if we do this? Yeah, there we go. Alright, so let's attach a plank. Nope, 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 not the blowtorch, the plank. We don't want to set that on fire, at least not yet. Actually, no, I think I got that already. Oop. Ow! <laughs> yeah, the thing with hooking yourself downwards is you reach terminal velocity pretty fast, so do be mindful when you're swinging around. So, right, it's not in here, it's in the adjoining building. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Yeah, a grappling hook, the way it works in video games, is one of those things that you understand very quickly why nobody really invented anything that works this way. Because it would very quickly lead to death. Like, there's a reason that there really aren't any jetpacks that aren't out of, like, the experimental prototype stage or just kind of the expensive novelty toy. Like, there is that one that's basically like a personal helicopter and it has kind of a contained propulsion unit. But nothing like you'd see in, like, the Jetsons or something. Or dislocate your shoulder, yeah. That's, like, the least of what would happen. Just hauling your body weight around at max at top speed is extremely dangerous. Bodies, as it turns out, are pretty fragile. Okay, so let's go... Oop, oh, yeah, oh. Oh, well, that was interesting. So I hooked the thing, switched weapons, and I switched back, and it remembered where the hook position was. 
Right, grappling hook would need, like, an exoskeleton. Yeah, basically like in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Which, you know, you got, you did get a, a grappling hook, but explicitly as part of a prosthetic arm and the internal reinforcements to support it. That's pretty much the sci-fi tech you'd need for it. Okay, so... Let's punch a hole in the roof here. Right at Metroid Prime. Space pirates try to recreate the morph wall end up with many compacted volunteers. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you'd end up with that uh, montage sequence from RoboCop 2. Of, like, the experimental RoboCops that are all just kind of grotesque nightmares that just are in obvious torment. Because they fundamentally don't understand the technology or the meat that they're working with. Yeah, you're accelerating, so you end up supporting more than your entire weight on one arm. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so... Okay, yeah, this works. So, yeah. Jump across here. Alright. In we go. Then we're across the way. I think the other one is there. Then, bring you down. In fact, I got a fun little idea here. Just want to make extra sure I saved here. Let's start a little fire and let physics do some of the hard work for us. time we get there, the fire should have burned through a good deal of it. Oh, shit. Ugh. Crap, did I get that? No. Hold on a second, hold on. I think I brain farted. <laughs> Races on stools. Okay. Yep, no, I forgot that one. Son of a bitch. Okay. No, 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 no. Eh. I'm getting old, folks. I apologize. Also, I didn't say the catchphrase. That's very important. So we're going to do this again. All right. I envision it's going to be a very smooth transition to senility for me. Anyway. It's crime time! Go. Yep. Where's the fucking thing? Ah, it's the fucking bottom floor. You know what? I'm gonna see what kind of time I've got. Fuck. Actually, we know it's not gonna work. Ah. Okay, I did not plan that well enough. That was on me. I've had a bong and a book of hours called the Snoodle Jar. <laughs> Indispensable for snoodlery. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Okay, so. Turns out I don't need to get up there. I need to get down there. Doesn't that just beat all? Well. <laughs> store brand bong. Legally distinct. You know, it'll be... It'll be like a bong that shows up as a background item in like a 90s adventure game. They won't say what it is, but the adults in the audience that are probably playing the game will know what it is. Which I think was the thing that happened in Quest for Glory 3. Where there was a dude... There was like a hippie dude that ran a... Like... Like a potion shop or something. And... Just trying to think the approach here. Okay, so we run in here. But anyway, yeah. He was running a potion shop and there was a bong there you could interact with and you'd see, like, psychedelic, psychedelic imagery if you did. It's implying your character was getting high and if you did it three times, you would basically die. Well, you you would... It would be a non-death game over because it turned because you turned into a druggie and you gave up on your quest. The level of humor that I was working with. Okay, so... It was there. So I want to punch a hole... here... Uh, 
There we go. Yeah, we're getting some fucking demolition. I was actually bringing up a thought I had earlier that maybe the fact that all the cars are accessible and all the doors are unlocked, well, most of the doors are unlocked, maybe we're in some kind of Demolition Man future where crime has been eliminated and nobody actually takes any precautions against it. Like, the idea that someone would misuse demolition equipment to do a bunch of crime is basically unthinkable. And so... This is why... Actually, can I just break this? Okay, I can. This is why we keep getting away with it. We are basically Simon Phoenix, is what I'm getting at. Okay. Simon Phoenix, if he was really willing to do crime for his mom. There we go. Okay. <laughs> You've unlocked seashells. <laughs> I do love that there was an actual in-universe explanation for that, and they just never explain it in the context of the movie. Now we can do this. Once more with feeling. It's crab time! Oh yeah, this is working out. Oh, I forgot to set the fire, damn it. Alright, we'll just have to blast it open the hard way. Alright. Word. Oh, please stay in there. Shit! Ah, oh, damn it, that's not gonna work. Alright. Vehicle was over just a little too far. Introduce just a little bit of chaos there. And see what it can do for us to save us some time. Alright. How's that fire coming? Alright, saves us a little time. Let's steer left. Oh boy. Get in there. Come on. Okay, I think we can do this. Shit. Thank you. Ah, oh, damn it. Fell out the back. Alright. Hmm. That's more debris that's gonna slow us down, but eh. Okay. Let's see if we can make some magic happen here. We're on the right track. We just need a way to drop both these into the same vehicle. I'll give this one more try, but I'm having an idea here that I don't want to give up on just yet. <laughs> Good heavens, just look at the time. Yes. Okay. Ah, shit, damn it. What if we hurry up? Just you. Can we get you in back there? Ah, we're caught up in the debris. Damn it, I knew this would be a problem. This mission is tough. The big slowdown is getting both of those into a single vehicle. Just really don't have time to finagle, and there are only a couple things in the, the uh, map that'll get it done. Surgically open up holes for the safes without dropping them so you don't spend as much time blasting them while the timer runs. You know, it's not a bad idea. Not dropping them. Yeah, so... Start to open the hole. Yeah, here we go. So that way, one little nudge right there will drop it down. And I think that'll also control the angle at which it drops. I see what you're doing here. So, let's see. Can we squeeze in here? Just barely. Yeah, there we go. Alright, I think that'll work. Ah, damn it! It's 
Alright. I think we can still do this. Uh, uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, you don't. No! Alright, now the truck is just wiggling over too far. I think I need to know what I need to do. I think I need to adjust the placement of the safe so it'll drop down slightly differently. Yeah, let's move you over a little. Shit, might not be able to with it in the hole. Hang on a second. Maybe we can wiggle you out of the hole with this. Ah, shit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so it will work, but physics complicates things. If we can just inch you forward a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Now when we drop it, it'll swing. It'll go straight down, and that gives us a lot more leeway. So. Let us distress the wood just a little bit. I also notice that the hookshot gun, the sights are kind of off. Let me see if I can demonstrate. So if you fire straight forward, you can see here it's not hitting the reticle dead on. It's kind of just going off center. So as a shotgun, it is somewhat lacking. It's mostly the hook functionality that makes it useful. Just something to keep in mind. The good old double barrel shotty here definitely gets it done. Alright, I think this time we can pull it off, but let's find out. It's crab time! There we go. Are you serious? Get into the damn truck. Ah, oh, motherfucker. Let's move you over a little. We can wheel you just enough. There we go. Now we're over it. Sometimes it is legit easier to move the safe than it is to move the thing that's parked under it. <laughs> Oh, what would I do without you eyes? Alright, one more time. It's crap time! There we go. Alright. Now, safe number two. Gotcha! Alright. We got it, baby. We can do this. <laughs> Had to mortalize your own embarrassing moments. Fair enough. I think this time we got it done. Oh! <laughs> it's okay! It's okay. It's just, it's just a little... It's just a little... A few inches... Uh, high. Uh, this isn't what it looks like, I swear. <laughs> oh, God. I was so close! We had that! We had that in the bag! Uh, it's crime time. Yeah, it was going. Everything was going well until everything just fell apart, or fell over, I should say. Literally fell apart. All right. Safe into the truck. All right, that part works reliably. So we're onto something. This this can work. We can do this.
There we go. Here we go. Yes! Alright. Fuck you, helicopter. You don't see shit. That's how crime works. Everything changed when the helicopter nation attacked. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, this is another mission where you got a very tight time frame if you're going to hit every objective. So yeah, five seconds of wiggle room there, and not a lot of mistakes that time. So there's probably other more efficient ways to do that. Like, I, I was eyeing up the 18-wheeler there. I do think you could align that to where you could drop the... If you took out the roof of the 18-wheeler, and then you dropped the t you parked it between these two buildings and took the safes out somehow simultaneously, that might work. But then you got to get it out of there, and that's its own headache. So... Your options are limited by the fact that you have to get the safes out of there. I mean, you really only need one, but if you're going after both, that is a factor. Mm. Mm. Anyway. Crook, nice. We're going up in the world. And our reward is a gun. Kind of interesting they give you this after the shotgun. Another spectacular break-in last night. Where property was damaged, yeah. <laughs> That's a polite way of putting it. And the perpetrators got away with heavy security equipment. According to the police... What is happening to Lokel? Do you need locks for your own... <laughs> Do you need locks for your locks nowadays? Says CEO Lawrence Lee Jr. Oh, I'm sure they're thinking of that. Yeah, the, the pistol is for precision destruction at range. Like, the idea is you're touching off explosives, or if you need to take out, say, a cable or a very narrow piece of equipment, or, you know, just something like a telephone pole. So, yeah, it's more precise than, sh than the shotgun, but still has the punch to get through solid material in a pinch. So, it has its uses. But later on, you'll actually unlock a sniper rifle, and that's actually even much better for precision work at range. Anyway, thanks. Now I need to just, now I just need to find someone who can work a safe. I'll get back to you a bit and I'll let you know how it goes. Anyway, let's mod our pistol. So yeah, we'll up the damage. Up the ammo. Give it some better range. There we go. I like the implication that we know a gunsmith that can work on this stuff. So in addition to getting, let's say, non-standard demolitions equipment, we are in contact with people making illegal illegal modifications to firearms, as par allegedly as part of our business. I mean, at some point, this is just, we're going on some kind of Walter White-style downward spiral, and we're just doing this for the fun of doing it. Anyway, the next mission is... Actually, this one's pretty simple, so let's... We'll go ahead and do that real quick first. So, uh, this is kind of a breather episode where all we gotta do is lower a tower. By any means necessary. Now they give us here, these here bombs. We have a limited supply of them. But, there are other things in the map we can work with. I think you see where I'm going with this. The only objective here is to bring that tower down, so it's a nice little change of pace from all the running around that we've been doing. Like I said, for all that the game sometimes is a bit too restrictive in the early game in terms of what will solve the problem, it does pace itself very well, and it's not long before you start getting a good, a better variety of mission objectives. Now you do want to be careful because physics can happen here, and these things can bump into each other hard enough to explode. thinking is if we can somehow wedge that in here, we'll use the bombs we got to widen the hole here a little. These are handy, and we will get more of them afterward. This is basically a demonstration mission for the kinds of explosives you get later on. And I do appreciate that they are... They're not spoiling you on the more powerful explosives earlier on, and you learn to appreciate them, and you learn to stretch your limited tool set more creatively, and then they give you the stuff that really lets you start playing around. Alright, now we should be able to park that in there. 
Hey, hey, oh. I mean, I could just take the tanks out. <laughs> okay. I like that that's frozen there. You can actually see the debris cloud. Call that one turning propane into methane. <laughs> Alright. Okay, it's a little low headroom there. We need to heighten that a little. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Maybe I could have used the precision of the pistol there. Maybe I should be firing a gun right next to pressurized explosives. I mean, you know, I'm not going to pretend to be an expert on such matters. But, you know, one would assume. It is really... I mean, you know, there are more expedient ways to do this, but I just really like the idea of just having a truck full of explosives packed in there, as opposed to methodically unpacking the explosives and planting them in places for maximum coverage. There we go. Alright. Reel it back. Delicately. Carefully. Yes! Alright, this is working. This is gonna do it. Here we go, baby, here we go. Now... Are there any other explosives around the map we could use to our advantage here? Presumably some. Oh, yes! Yes, this will do nicely. Can we safely dislodge these? Are they attached to the building? Doesn't look like they are. Hmm. Okay, so we can slide this thing. Actually, is there a... crane around we can use? Yes! There it is! Oh. Well. <laughs> the crane in this game falls mainly on the plane. <laughs> okay. Uh, is there anything? else we can use that can theoretically pull stuff around. Actually, let's see if we can use the hookshot for this. I'm so glad I, I added this thing, and this is the perfect mod for this game. Okay, let's try and pull you. <laughs> okay. Amazingly, I survived that. Alright, let's be a little more gentle with this one. Alright, so this works. If we do this carefully... Fuck. Okay. Now we need to reload. Alright, we really don't need to get it too far, so how about we do this? Get some stuff out of the way. Alright. We'll take this slowly and carefully. Very careful. There we go. Alright, good. Alright, can we just drag you? Not exactly. Alright, we need to move you very carefully. Over here. Amazingly, yes, I'm actually surprised. <laughs> Juggling propane tanks. Oh, 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 oh. Damn it! Fuck. Oh, man. Oh, no, 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 no. God damn it. Okay. This crane is not reliable for hauling explosives around. Go figure. Alright, fuck it. I'm overthinking this. Let's just level it. 
But yes, the hookshot is the best fucking mod. I'm so glad I added it to this. Alright, so. Let's see what kind of damage we can do if we plant a bomb here. After all that, that's it. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna have to unpack them. I just wanted my truck bomb. Like, I'm already making pipe bombs. We might as well go full terrorism here. Why not? <sighs> There's just no appreciation for art these days. Alright. Now we have good coverage, and that should take out a good chunk of the supports for relatively... relatively few bombs. <laughs> His whole stream just sounds drunk and it's appropriate. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I should have grabbed the tall boy for this, but hey, what can you do? There we go. Okay. That took out some of the walls, not nearly enough. Okay, that's why that one didn't go off. All right, we'll use the rest of these bombs and tower down the old-fashioned way. All right. You. All right. Ah, of course. Still too tall, huh? That's alright. We'll just take out the standing chunks until that is no longer the case. Yeah, there's one on that side, too. Everything that can conceivably attach it to another building must be removed. Ooh, 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 ooh. Maybe we can get this thing to topple. In fact, that's probably a more expedient way of doing this. Yeah, in fact, we'll do it. We'll bring it down this way. There we go. Yes! Yeah! Oh, that was satisfying. I wish it had crumbled to dust. Unfortunately, it is too sturdy for the structural integrity mod to kick in. It has to be more distressed before it'll physically break up. But, our job is done. You know what? That's an excellent question. Now that it's not rooted to the ground, let's find out. Yes! <laughs> oh, we gotta play around with this. Hold on a second, I got a great idea. Okay. First, let me get up here. All right. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, hey! I got a, I got an even better idea. Let's try to take out the power station with it. Oh, nope. That's the AT wheeler. <laughs> oh. Let's see the cops explain this one. Okay, there's the tower. There and yes, yes. <laughs> There's just enough to damage the power insulation. Oh man! I guess you could call that one a uh, tower outage. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, that was satisfying. All right, let's boogie. Heard of a water tower, that's ridiculous. Yeah, well, there's your problem. Tower technically still standing, just about a mile from its original location. Oh, man. This is the best fucking game. Actually, where am I even parked? Oh, I'm on the other side of the river. That's alright, I'll bring my car with me. Ow! Ah. 
Oh well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's interesting that there's fall damage, but there's no collision damage because the system Hey Octal, good to see ya. We're wrapping up shortly, but yeah, we're just screwing around with the uh hook shot that's uh that we modded in. You should see this crazy shit. In fact, let's do some let's do some more examples. Oh yeah, this thing completely disrespects the laws of physics. It's awesome. Doing all right. All right, let's not fuck up our escape vehicle here. Hey, hey, hey. Out of the damn way. There we go. All right, let's motor. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I mean, the number of times I destroyed it, we might as well. It's just being considerate. Alright. Let's see what the news has to say about this. Lee Tower toppled. Lee Chemicals, famous tower, torn down by unknown, tris uh, unknown trespassers, and then flung into a power station just out of spite. The shameful deed happened right before the 75th anniversary of the tower. Rummaging around in the rubble, Lawrence Lee Jr. express <laughs> express grief and anger. These half-wit Neanderthals don't know what <laughs> don't know what's coming for them. Attacking the attacking the heart and soul of my company, of my family, he fumes, visibly upset. The pacing of the thing slows down the reading, but eh, what can he do? Uh, is there anything else in the news? Locale celebrations. Home guard parade. Oh boy. Live music fireworks. See you at Evertides Mall. Let's just say that's going to come into play later down the line. And the military hardware is not just set dressing. That's all I'll give away for now. Anyway. They turned the gas back on. Coffee never tasted better. I was skeptical... I was skeptical... About <laughs> yeah, I was skeptical about working with Mr. Wu in the first place, but he does pay well, so does the new client, Lee Chemicals. Did they contact you directly? By the way, I heard on the news there's some madman on the loose around here. Hope you remember to lock the door at night. Stay safe, Mom. It's okay, Mom. Somehow I get the feeling he's not going to be a problem for us. Not directly, anyway. Gordon really took this one a step too far. You probably heard it on the news, but he hit my tower, the Lee Tower. My poor grandfather's probably turning in his grave right now. It'll cost me a fortune to rebuild that. I need to get back at Gordon, but he's so loaded with money that whatever I do, he can just pay someone to fix it. The only way to get him to str the only way to get to him is to strike where his fat wallet can't protect him. His precious art collection. Some of those paintings will also make a nice contribution to the restoration fund. Yeah, the restoration fund for my new tower. I think I like the implication that that's actually a typo he made. Anyway. We got another side job here. Anton Wolf. Hey, you heard about some skills. Could you do a quick job for me? Hey, word's getting around. So you see, there's construction going on at the marina. Some new dock or something. There are high-end tools spread all over the place. Could really use some of them for an upcoming job. Could you get over there and collect them for me? Yeah, I, I like that this is this doesn't even sound like a criminal. This is just some guy that's willing to hire a criminal because he wants some tools. That's the sign of a guy who's side who, that's a sign of a guy who's contractor whose contractor business is in good is in good standing but anyway we will call it there because we've got more missions coming up obviously but yeah i really do enjoy this campaign and i'm really glad we modded this because there is just the chaos potential of this thing is untapped i can't wait for some of the later missions and i need to see what we can i, I need to see what physics shenanigans we can unlock when the game really takes the gloves off but yeah, thanks everyone for tuning in. Have a good night. Tomorrow night I will be playing Shadows of Doubt for the uh, Sunday Spotlight. Still in early access, but I really that's another interesting little open-ended voxel game, which has a much different rhythm of gameplay. But we'll get to that when we get there. But yeah, thanks for tuning in, everyone. Yeah, that game rules. Yeah, I love the stream you did of that. I, I need to dig it into it more myself, so I'm looking forward to it. Have a good night, everyone. Thanks for watching.